Um, you said that this kind of started uh, in January. So is this a quick turnaround on the project or is this normally how quickly you do these? Well, you know, our work is driven by by Congress largely. So um, we have to flex our schedules according to the needs of the program. Uh, in this case, uh, programs typically take about nine months to 12 months to do the design development uh, for these uh, circulating coins. Uh, but we didn't have that in this case. And so everyone worked very hard to keep the pedal to the metal and, and uh, be ready for 2022 circulating coins. Great. And if you guys wouldn't mind, April, I know you have some folks, some colleagues that probably worked on this and, and Elaine and you as uh, well, just who else is involved in this process as well? We, we get to see the design artist here and, and, and April, you shepherd us through the process, but who else might work on this? Sure. From, from our side, uh, we're charged with creating a design selection and approval process uh, to be approved by the Secretary of the Treasury to make sure we are actually working with all of the consultants and stakeholders that are named in the legislation. And so in, in that case, we uh, are working closely with the National Women's History Museum, the Smithsonian American Women's History Initiative, uh, as well as uh, calculated input from the general public, the bipartisan women's caucus, um, all of those folks come together to identify uh, the women, make recommendations about which women should be honored on these 20 quarters. Uh, and then once the secretary of the treasury uh, uh, approves those women, we engage with artists like Alana, and, as well as some mint artists that, that we have uh, to start developing the designs. We also work closely with uh, historians and other subject matter experts, um, family representatives to be sure that any design that's being created is technically accurate and appropriate and is really bringing this woman's spirit and representing uh, her accomplishments appropriately. And Alana, do you have anyone else that you'd like to highlight that worked with you on the project? Uh, absolutely. So when I'm actually working on the design, um, you know, all of us artists, we work on our own. So we're not collaborating with each other. But then once uh, once we submit our designs, we get feedback from uh, people at the Mint. For example, the chief engraver at the Mint gives us aesthetic feedback. We're also given feedback in terms of coinability, meaning, you know, there are certain specific limitations of just the material itself and how can you coin something in metal and how can you make sure it's going to work well actually as a coin at that size. Um, so we get we got to get a lot of advice in that sense and it's very helpful to make ultimately, you know, the best piece of artwork that we can. 